Hello Max Tubers, welcome back to my channel. My name is Max Tu and I am here to share with you another Sarah Heronimo video. Before we start, I am inviting you all to please follow me on Instagram at Max underscore Tu. And if you are here for the very first time, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos to get a chance to win prizes. For the full mechanics, kindly check the link above. Today we are going to listen to a medley brought to us by pop star royalty Miss Sarah Heronimo. This footage was obtained from her This Is Me concert held in Las Vegas sometime in the year 2018. To those who would like to enjoy the full performance without any interruption, without my comments, please go to my description box. There is a link there. Click on it and it will lead you to the original video. Alright, let's start! So this is an Annie Lennox original, I put a spell on you. Loving the soulfulness in her voice, the emotions right from the very beginning. And I noticed something new, at least to my ears. Did she just do a vocal break? It sounds real good. Never heard her do it before. Again, I think I just heard another vocal break. Impressive. Also, her delivery as early as now is reminding me of three genres. Soul, R&B, and torch singing. I never thought it is possible to hear all these three genres in one single delivery, which is quite unique. Wow! You can tell she's feeling it. She's feeling the song. And to think she's not even giving us any hand gestures, which normally helps uh, in getting the emotions across to the audience. She is just relying on her voice, purely on her voice. In other words, we could all be just shutting our eyes and still feel the song. So good. The only thing that doesn't seem to match here is how young she is, well, how young she looks, yet how mature 
and full of life experiences her delivery is. She looks like a teenager who has had 40 years of life experiences. It's either she has had many heartbreaks in her life or she is just so good in pouring out her emotions. I have said this in another video. She is so good in morphing her voice, her sound, to make it sound perfect for a song. It's like every time I listen to her, I get to enjoy different facets of her vocal ability. Let's continue. Natural Woman by Aretha Franklin. I wonder how she'll put her Sarah Hieronimo twist to this good old classic. Because we do not want to hear Aretha. We want to hear Sarah. Yep, I'm hearing Sarah, that's good, but I'm hoping that she can give us just a little more angst, like what she did in the first song. So, I spoke too soon. She just gave me what I wanted. The angst and the character that I'm waiting for. I knew she had it in her. Let's continue. Love that. The way she made it different, the way she made the song her own without falling into the same mold of other covers. Great job. Let's jump back to the video. Crazy, right? Beautiful growl. The amount of soulfulness she's giving us is just crazy. And that very subtle change in dynamics in that last part is just perfect. In the Whitney Houston medley that she did with Regine Velasquez in their Unified concert, I mentioned that there are certain times when Sarah's tone sounds a bit like Whitney. So I guess this song is an obvious choice for her. Yes. 
It's a good thing she changed her delivery. That includes some of the beats and some of the notes. Otherwise, with some similarities in uh, their tones, she would have sounded too much like Whitney Houston. Quick question to my Max Tubers out there. I don't know if it's only me, but in this particular moment, just for this portion, her voice sounds a bit different. I'm not hearing the rich and heavy tone that she usually gives us in a Whitney Houston song. Not sure if this is intentional though. If you guys know what's up, comment down below. Love how flawlessly she hit that F4 in Stay In My Arms and immediately showing us vocal agility after. But I am sensing something off in her body language. I just can't put my finger on it. It's different from the other Sarah videos I've watched before. Again, guys, Please comment down below and share with me your thoughts about this. Again, they're changing the beat here to give us something new, I guess, and to build up the audience's anticipation as we are about to reach the climax of the song. Climax of the song, coming up. Yeah. Are you kidding me? F sharp 5 in her chest voice. To all the Whitney Houston fans out there, I'm really sorry. Please do not hate me. But for this particular F sharp 5, I think, well, this is my personal opinion. I think Sarah did it better than the original version. And this is coming from a Whitney Houston fan. Because I remember a lot of rasps in Whitney's voice when she did this in her official video. And this is a recorded version. And this is live. But for Sarah, it was solid and the placement was really good. I didn't hear any strain. Again, giving us a lot of angst and just enough growls to make this part work. Nice job, Sarah. As usual, smooth transition from chest to head voice. Definitely one of her vocal strengths. Final stretch of the video, here we come.
Yes. That last run there reminds me a lot of Beyonce. I think overall, this is a great performance from Sarah. Except for that one short portion in the song, the first part of I Have Nothing. She didn't go off key. In fact, she hit all the right notes. She gave us emotions. I don't know what it is exactly, but she seemed a bit maybe tired. Or maybe it's just my imagination. Anyways, if you like Sarah's performance, please give this video a thumbs up. And tell me down below in the comment section your thoughts about this performance. With that, thank you all for watching and please don't forget to hit subscribe, the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos here in MaxTube. Stay happy and healthy everyone. Take care.